Hello again, talking with Colleen from Mary Hill Museum. And what are some of the exhibits that you guys have got on display right now? Besides the chess set, we spent a little <laughs> bit of time talking about that in the last segment, but what else? We have a fantastic gallery of Native American art. It's called the Native Peoples of North America. And uh, the largest collection within that is probably the Plateau, which is the area right around the Columbia River Gorge. So it's a basketry and beadwork and some stonework and other beautiful items to enjoy. Um, next to that would be uh, the other regions of the country, including the plains and the northwest coast and the Great Basin and, and other wonderful things. But all Native see. American. But all Native American. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Really great stuff. Yeah. D moccasins and little bags oh, yes. and the, oh, whole, the whole yes. thing. Oh, yes. The whole thing. Fish nets. Oh, the whole thing. Fish nets as in catching fish, yes. not as in, you know. Right. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we'll talk about that when we talk about the, the uh, European style or whatever that you guys also have on display. That's right. We, what's, yeah. What's that? We have, we have a gallery on Loie Fuller. And the reason I mention this is not only was she a very famous dancer, and you can learn a little bit about modern dance, but she was beloved by all of the Art Nouveau artists of the turn of the century. So people like Emile Gallet, who did beautiful glasswork, um, and others wanted to paint her, sculpt her, draw her, put her in glass. Glass, um, and so a lot of those images are right there in the gallery to see uh, of, of that particular style. We have wonderful collections from Queen Maria of Romania and her friend Alma Spreckles. These are pieces of furniture that were made in Romania, inspired by Art Nouveau, Celtic work, knot work, Romanian craft work, and they're just sumptuous um, furnishings that are gold leafed and have a real elegance to them. And we have one of her dresses beautiful beautiful court gown um, 18 inch waist for those of you who think you can get that thin um, and the gown the gown itself <laughs> not healthily and the gown itself probably weighs you know something like uh, 35 pounds <laughs> it's a very heavy well, with thing with an 18 inch waist that's that's got to weigh more than the person wearing it oh exactly exactly <laughs> just about so we have all of these wonderful things we have paintings beautiful beautiful paintings charlie russell uh, did the Indian Buffalo Hunt that's hanging in our galleries. We have a painting by a Frederick Lord Layton called Solitude that's very, very famous. It's been on a couple of world tours mm. um, traveling around. We have the Rodin's, of course, um, the fantastic bronzes and plasters of his work that Lowy helped to bring to the museum. We have uh, more things than you can even imagine uh, from Sam Hill particularly pictures of those roads we were talking about, his ephemera, his one, his wonderful globe that he had made, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, and also the pictures. I mean, you guys have all these historic pictures uh -huh. in there, and obviously every single one of them has well, a lifetime story behind it. But some of these castles and stuff, were they all part of um, the, the uh, queen? Marie, were, were these mm -hmm. her residences? Yes, or? well, we have the historic pictures that she, she gave us a huge collection of historic photographs of Romania. And, the, and so we have pictures of her castles. Castle Braun, where Dracula supposedly lived. Um, it was actually Vlad the Impaler who inspired the story of Dracula. But um, Castle Braun, we have other pictures of her castles. We have Sam Hill's pictures of Rhodes. We have Sam Hill's pictures of the Northwest. Um, we have tons of images at the museum. I think one of the most interesting pictures we have is actually in the, the Teatro della Mode exhibit. And it's actually two pictures. And the one picture, this was a, a collection that was created just after Paris was liberated. And um, uh, France was not. Mm. It was a very harsh mm -hmm. winter. The electricity and gas was turned on one hour a day. Okay, well, and you know, the French, the French, the, especially the French women love to have every hair in place and their costumes immaculate. Fashion is very big. So these two pictures really tell you about when this was created and, and, and why it was created because you had all of these women in hair dryers having their hair coiffed so that they would look beautiful. And in the next picture, I mean, it looks like a typical sort of scene, but this was absolutely impossible in France at the time because there was no electricity. There was no, nothing to run the hair dryers with. Oh, right, right. But the next scene is of two young men on stationary bicycles in the basement pedaling away so the electricity could be generated to create the hairstyle <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> oh, that's great. And it seems so frivolous at first until you realize what everybody wanted to be more than anything else in 1946 after Paris was liberated was normal. 
they wanted to have a normal life again. Yeah. So, you know, it still it br actually brings tears to my eyes to think about the extremes that people will go to to make their lives seem okay again after mm. such hardship. But um, yeah. So, so that to me, those two pictures are some of the best pictures in the entire museum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you really represent s uh, such an emotional time and such an also a, a liberating time. A liberating in time. And, and I think uh, it represents the real essence of the human spirit that yeah. it can overcome things. Yeah, yeah. And the magic of pictures. There you, you know, go. It captures those things. Just like Mary Hill has done with so many other things, the magic of Mary Hill. There you go. And you guys have also um, exhibits that come in and go out. And so it's not just, if you've been there, you haven't seen it. It's oh, all, it, no, we have new You can keep every coming year. back <laughs> and, and things keep, keep changing and new exhibits arrive. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll delve into that a bit when we come back. So don't go anywhere when we get back we're going to talk about some of the upcoming exhibits that mary hill museum has in store for us so we'll see you in just a few minutes